Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me. And you know, a couple of weeks ago, it may have been last week, I can't even remember, I had shown you this project and told you that we was going to be doing this. This is that faux leather and we were going to be doing this project. Well, my faux leather hasn't come in yet for me to sell. So, I wanted to try it out in cardstock anyway. So, we're going to do one in cardstock. This is just some brown, it's called chocolate cardstock. So, we're going to try it out in this first. And then, when our, my leather gets here, we will do it in the faux leather. So, you're going to need a piece that is 5 inches by 12 inches. And you're going to score this quite a few times. You're going to start scoring at 4 inches. You're going to sco score 4. And then you're going to score every eighth of an inch from there on to 5. So 4, 4 and 8, 4 and a fourth, 4 and 3 eighths, 4 and a half, 4 and 5 eighths, 4 and 3 quarters, four and seven eighths and then at five so that's all of that scoring right there then you're going to move down to nine inch and you're going to do the same thing from between nine and ten score it every one eighth of an inch so i'm going to score it nine nine and an eighth nine and a quarter nine and three eighths nine and a half nine and five eighths nine and three quarters nine and seven eighths and at ten so that has got your scoring on that now I want to show you these see the score lines this is going to be the part that we bend that does this little bend right here so what you're going to do on this, and I'm going to use one of these brush handles, decide which side you want to be, the outside, of course you should have decided that before I guess. I'm just going to use this brush handle and I'm just going to roll those score lines around that brush handle. You don't want to bend them, you just want to make it curve. So just use some kind of round something or other and just roll them up back and forth. Just put it in there and roll it. Just like you was rolling a rolling pin. And see, it makes that curve, but it doesn't doesn't bend the score lines. Because you don't want them to bend. You just want them to be able to fold like that. Okay? So that is the way you do. Just get some kind of round something or other and go for it. Okay, we're going to straighten it back out a little bit. We're going to go ahead and round these corners before we forget because I will get busy and I'll forget about it. So round all of your corners, all four of them. Okay. And then you're going to need two pieces of the same cardstock that is cut at two and a half by five so two pieces like that one of them's going to go here so you're going to round just one side of the corners not both ends just one so we're going to put that one in there around that one and see that's going to go down it's not going to go on that end it's going to go down right there like that and then this one is going to go in the center like that Okay, but we're going to need, before we start putting that together, we're going to do something else. This is going to be your little closure, your little clasp. That's this right here. So you're going to need two pieces that are two inch by one inch. And you can get all of this out of a half a sheet of cardstock. Because here is my other part of my cardstock on that. So you can get every bit of this out of a half sheet. You're going to need two pieces that are exactly the same and what you're going to do is you're going to glue these two pieces together. So I'm going to use my art glitter glue and I'm just going to run a good amount around through there and then just put these together identically okay, and then you're going to take your corner rounder and you're going to round one end of these as well okay. 
And if you have a little piece on there that you need to snip, just go ahead and clean that up now. Alright, so that is going to be the piece that goes right there. That's your closure. So what we're going to do now is I have cut some paper. There's my dollar that I'm going to put in there. I have cut some paper out of this rose quartz. This finally came in, and I can see why it's been so popular and so hard to get. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Look at that. This is so gorgeous. I have ordered more already. I've had two shipments come in, and I've already ordered a ton more. And it's very thick. But anyway, you're going to need two pieces to cover these that are cut at two and a quarter by four and three quarters and I'm going to round off one edge on here so I'm going to go ahead and do my mats first before I start putting everything together it just helps me it might not be might not help everybody but it helps me a little bit and this one the same thing so we go right there so I'm just going to move that and I'm going to go ahead and mat these. Okay. So we've got those matted. So on this long end right here, in these score lines that you made, you're going to put some eyelets. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our ruler. And we know that's an inch wide, so we're going to come down about a half of an inch. And we're going to make a little, let's see, about a half an inch, make a mark here. And then about a half an inch and make a mark over here. So my half inch. Alright, I know you can't see these score lines. Let me move that up so that I won't be blinding you. Right here is my last score line. And right here is my first one. So I'm going to put an eyelet right there in my second score. And I'm going to put one right there in my second score line. So you see, I'm putting, I'm coming down one half inch here, and then I'm coming over to my second score line, and I'm putting an eyelet there, and then from this side, my second score line, and putting an eyelet there, and then I'm going to flip it around, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and then I'm going to take my crocodile on the small setting, and. Gonna go right in there where I can see that. Just like that. Okay. got those two there and I put my eyelet on this little stub here I put my eyelet on that just makes it easier for me and then I slide it in and then I just crimp it so you can do it the other way if you want to this is just easier for me to hold on to okay so there we go we got those in, and now we're going to put one more in the end of this. So we're just going to eyeball this one. There we go. 
So we're going to you're going to take this piece that doesn't have the rounded corners and come down to this end. This is our short end right here away from your brass. And you're going to go to that last score line and you're going to put this one down on that last score line. The only place you're going to put the glue is on three sides, just a thin little bead. And then you're going to run a bead right down the center of it. I'm just going to eyeball the center. Looks like right there's a good spot. You can mark it if you want to. So just put it like that. And then this open part is going to go facing your brads. So make sure that you put this back piece right on that last score line. And if your paper's like mine, it's a little bit hard to see, but you can get it. And then just make sure that it's evened up on all sides. Press it down in the center where you put that other. And I've got mine a little bit off, so I'm just going to trim it. No one would be the wiser, except you and I. Okay. Alright. So there is a place for one of your credit cards to slide in. There's another one. So just give that time to dry. Now we're going to go ahead and put this one down on this end and you're only going to put glue on the corner, the end, around the corner, this end, and around that corner in here. The straight edge you're going to leave it without any glue. Then you're going to need a little piece to go right here on this end and this mat is one and a half I do believe. Let's see. Yes, it is one and a half inches by four and three quarters. You're going to need it to go right there, so we're going to round these corners. And it's going to go right there. But before we put it down, we're going to go ahead and glue this down. So I'm just going to mark the center of this. And that's my center right there. So this is going to go right there. And I'm going to use some score tape and glue on this. Because I want this to stick really, really well. Put your score tape down. Make sure that you've put it on the right side. Oops. And that you don't peel it all away like I did. Okay, so you want your score tape on the side that your bread, your, the good part of your bread is. And then we're going to put some art glitter glue right on top of that score tape. That's going to give us a little bit of wiggle room. So we're going to slide this down to about right there and hold it for just a little bit. Make sure that it's straight. Straight to me. Then we're going to put this piece right on top of it and that's just going to give it some extra hold. And you can glue this one all the way down if you want to, or you can leave a little opening. I'm going to leave a little opening. I might decide there's something I want to slide up in there. You could always slide some money up in there and hide it. So we're going to 
even this up, put it down right there. Okay, I left this side open so I can slide something up in there. And so that is completed on that side. There is the inside of it, all finished. Now, I'll show you what we're going to put in here, but we're going to cover the outside first. Okay, now for your outside mats, you're going to need two that are three and three quarters by four and three quarters, and one that is one and three quarter by four and three quarters. Now, on this one, we're going to round the ends. So... Just round two of them, so that, that will go right there. So we'll go ahead and put that down. And then we'll put this mat down here. This one's the same size, but you don't need to round any corners. Just make sure that you get it in between your score lines. Don't put it on any of your score lines. Okay, and then this one down here, we're going to round two of the corners just like we did on the other end. So, I'm going to put that right there. so there is our outside matted and this is what it's going to look like isn't that pretty I love that so cute and you can go back if you want to and put your little brush or whatever in these and round them up again since we've um, put all of our mats on there if you want to do that So now I will show you what we're going to put right here. Now if you have the elastic, like that elastic that everybody uses in their little portfolios or whatever, put that in here. That will work wonderful. I don't have any right now and I don't want to run to town to get some. So I'm going to use some Baker's Twine. I'm just going to cut off quite a bit of this really pretty pink and I have folded it so I've got a double thickness here So just run it through your holes like that so that you've got straight lines here and you've only got that showing on the back. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I've got my signatures in here and if you're wondering what a signature is, it's just some paper that you've folded in, in the middle. So I've got some in this side and some in this side. Now if you're real particular and you want all of your paper, the ends of your paper to be the same length, then you know you can adjust that. You can cut that off. I'm not going to worry about it right now because 
I am going to make another one that has the stretchy cord on here, but right now we're just going to use this. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to run this up to the top up here. And we're going to pull it pretty tight. Of course, you can't pull it real tight because this is cardstock. Okay, so I have just dug in my little box of charms. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some charms on this string. And I've just got, I've got two little purses. One that's kind of a silver and then one that is a gold. And then I have a watch. I always have to have a watch, right? Or a clock. So uh, let's see if I can get that. There we go. So we're going to put a clock and a purse on this one. And then I'm going to take this. And I'm going to run it up under that. And then on this one, I'm going to put a purse. You could put as many charms on here and do it up any way that you wanted to. This is just all that I'm going to do on this one. Run it up through there. And there's how my little charms are going to lay. I think that's cute. Okay, go ahead and pull it back tight again. Make sure that your paper is where you want it. And then I'm going to tie this on the outside. Now some people tie on the inside. I'm going to tie this on the outside because I do like this... Um, because I like this baker's twine. I think it's pretty. So I'm not going to worry about tying it on the inside. I'm going to tie on the outside a little knot and then I'm going to run it back under there so that it's going to hold on that. And then I'm going to tie a bow. And I'll probably add some you know, more uh, bows, some more baker's twine, something right there at the end anyway. But I think that's cute. So I'm going to trim that off. So there's how the outside right there is going to look. That's going to go there. Then you need to decide how you want to close it. Now I left, I put a hole in mine and I'm planning on closing it with more of this thread. You can close it with a ribbon, just whatever you would want. I'm going to close it with some more baker's twine. I'm just going to cut off a good section of this. I have lots of baker's twine, so I really need to use it up. And I'm going to run it in here. Run the loop in there, and then I'm going to open the loop up and I'm going to run that around like that so that it'll loop up like that. Then I'm going to close this up and I'm just going to wrap that around a couple of times. And then you can tie it off or do whatever you want. But before we tie it off, let's go ahead and show that you can put lots of goodies in here. On this side right here, you can put a credit card. Oops. You can put a couple of credit cards, one right there and one right there. On this side, you can slide some money up under there if you want to. Just like that. You can put, you know, some little a little cash up under there so that nobody can find it. And then you can close this back up and you are ready to go.
Now that's how I'm going to close mine. All I did was I just tied it around that and pulled a little slip knot in it. And then you can kind of space this out any way that you want. There you go. So that is closed. That is it. it there's your little wallet. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. I love the paper. I love the, the brown with that paper. So cute. If you want to get the slip knot out, it's very, very easy to get one of those out. There you go. You've got it opened up and you are ready to go. I think it's adorable. It'll be cute for a gift for Easter, something like that. And it's going to be really cute and durable when we can get our faux leather in and get it done in this faux leather because this is going to be really durable. You can throw it in your purse, have it ready to go. But we should have that in hopefully next week. Okay, guys, that is it on this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And about our classes in Pigeon Forge, that link will be below. It's only about 15 days till those classes start. We would love to see you there. If you haven't already got your tickets, the classes are filling up really quickly. So go down below, check them out. Sign up for some classes. May May will be teaching there as well. And we would love to see you. We're going to have a meet and greet with you guys. So looking forward to it. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.